Hello, wonderful grade fives, and thank you for joining me for the spelling test for week 16's words. I am going to get started. Remember, I'm trying to make these videos not 20 minutes long for a spelling test, so make sure that if I'm going too fast, you remember that you are able to pause this video at any time. So some people are telling me that they listen to the word, they pause the video, they write the word, and then they press play again. That is absolutely fine. You do what works for you. Okay? Um, I'm going to start our test now. Number one. Length. Length. She measured the length of her pen in centimeters. Length. Number two, months. Months. It had been months since she had had an orange chocolate bar. Months. Number three, arithmetic. Arithmetic. We practice our math facts to become quicker at arithmetic. Number four, watches, watches. People wear watches so that they can keep track of the time. Watches. Number five, white, white. The wall was painted white. Number six, together, together, together we can do amazing things, together. Number seven, friendship, friendship, friendship is very important in your life. Number eight, chocolates, chocolates. Mrs. Oaks likes chocolates. <laughs> Who doesn't? Okay. Number nine, children, children. I have two children. Number 10, rhythm, rhythm. My brother is a drummer and has excellent rhythm. Number 11. Though. Though. I like being outside, though I don't like the cold. Though. Number 12. Exchange. Exchange. My children were able to exchange cards with their grandmother. Exchange. Through the mail. Um, number 13. Purchases. Purchases. You can pick up your purchases at the store. Purchases. It means something you bought. Number 14, truthful, truthful. I always am truthful when speaking with others. Truthful. Number 15, athletes, athletes. The athletes flew to Beijing for the Olympics. Athletes. Number 16, thought, thought. Every thought you have comes from your mind. Thought, I know that's really deep, thought. <laughs> Number 17, where, where. 
Where are my slippers? Where? They're on my feet. And number 18, a while. A while. We haven't seen each other in a while, but I'm enjoying checking in on Teams. A while. Okay. That is your spelling test with the words. Now, I did get submissions for our sentences. I picked the first two that were submitted. Um, next week, I, if you want to, for next spelling week, I'll put it into one of the assignments that you can submit sentences. Um, and I will try to pick different people next week if other people are submitting. But these were the people that had them submitted. I have one from Autumn and one from Dylan. So thank you, Autumn and Dylan, for your wonderful sentences. Um, I did have to cut, cut one of them down a bit because um, I wanted to make sure that you guys had enough room to write them. But I'm going to start reading. So the first one, I thought there were chocolates for children, but there, there is no more, so they had to wait for a while. Okay, so I'm going to say them three times. Second time. I thought there were chocolates for children, but there are no more, so they had to wait for a while. I thought there were chocolates for children, but... There are no more, so they had to wait for a while. All right, now I'm going to do the sen second sentence. And also about chocolate and children. I love it. Um, it's almost like children love chocolate. <laughs> okay, now the second sentence. I'm going to read it three times. We thought the children and athletes we're going to exchange their purchases of white chocolates in the interest of friendship. We thought the children and athletes were going to exchange their purchases of white chocolates in the interest of friendship. I think I've done it twice. I've been reading really slow, so I'm going to do it one more time. I apologize if this is actually the fourth time, but hopefully this is number three. We thought the children and athletes were going to exchange their purchases of white chocolates in the interest of friendship. Okay, so those were two fantastic sentences. Thank you for everyone who submitted a sentence. I love it. They're better than anything I could have written. I love, 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 love it. So please know you can submit sentences for next week's words too. I will encourage you to do it. It made me so happy to read your sentences. It was awesome. Um, and I picked the first two that were sent that I that I received, but I will. Um, if you want to send me, if I didn't pick yours, and you want to send me one next week, send it to me, and I will try to pick different people's next week. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you, Autumn and Dylan. Thank you to everyone else who sent in uh, a sentence. I really loved reading them. All right, don't forget to send me a picture of your spelling test form once you're all done your test, and I will see you again for next week. You'll get new words. The week after that, you'll have another spelling test, okay? So we're having spelling tests every other week because I'm not supposed to be giving you work for English on non-English days, and it takes about four or five English days to have enough time to practice your spelling. So I hope that makes sense to you. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate all your hard work, and I hope you're having a beautiful day.